first day of Cramathon. If you guys are new to this channel, then you don't know. I'm a host of Cramathon, which is a readathon that myself, Julia from Julia Sapphire, Ali from Hardback Quarter, and Dylan from Dylan is reading hosts every year to try to get like your TBR down and we usually do this in December for like getting your Goodreads goal completed but recently we've been doing summer rounds too so this is the summer round it's going from today July 6th to July 12th and I figured I would vlog along the way there's five challenges that you're supposed to complete but honestly I'm looking at my TBR and I don't want to read any of the books that I chose. I'll leave like my TBR down below if you're like interested in what I was planning on reading. But yeah, I don't know. Reading and myself have just not been friends recently, probably because I started seeing Will, William. So I've been spending a lot of time with him instead of actually reading. But the book that I'm currently reading is Goddess in the Machine. This is by Laura Beth Johnson. And I guess it could technically fulfill the read a 2020 release book. I was originally going to read Thorn. Cannot remember who that is by, but I will like pop a little picture up here. I was supposed to read that, but I don't want to. And I'm already like halfway through this book. So I figured I would just keep reading it from last vlog. So like we're being a little bit of a cheater, but also like, would that be a J video? Video if we didn't cheat on our TBR every two seconds? No. This book though is about a girl named Andra who gets put to sleep into like a chamber and she's supposed to be like shipped to another planet and then she's supposed to like wake up a hundred years into the future and like populate that planet and like colonize it but she ends up waking up a thousand years into the future so like everybody she knows is dead and like life as she knows it is very different and then the people of the planet that she lands on start calling her a goddess and it's like her trying to get out of this situation it's kind of like a hate to lover romance as well which i am really digging i'm on page 182 and there's like 400 pages in it so we still got a while to go but i'm actually really liking it it's supposed to be released june 2020 so it's already out if you guys are interested but yeah so i guess technically that's my 2020 release because i am not gonna follow that tbr plans for today i have to go to the doctor and i'm not excited me and my mom are going to ikea to go pick up like a glass dish thing that I gave to a boy and never got back because he started dating somebody else it's fine that's a whole nother story but um yeah so those are the two plans and then I'll probably end up going to see Will that's my guess no reading will probably be done and I will bring you along the way I don't know if that's something you guys are into but yeah welcome to Cramathon I'm not. excuse you this is like our first time eating at a sit down place in four months. Yes. But look how yummy it looks. You're stepping on my foot. <laughs> if you didn't spread out. Excuse me. <laughs> We're going to the most magical place on earth. Are you vlogging? Mm hmm. I wish it was Disney World. Second best magical place on earth. My mom's coming up with my TBR and it is so bad. Brilliant. She is so proud of it. It's brilliant. And you people will love it too. I hate it so much because it's so hard to explain. Not once you say it. Say what the, the theme is and then just. It's terrible. It's not. It's brilliant. If you, how describe it like, if you describe it like that, then people are going to go. What the fuck? Yeah, but, because it is you, what the fuck. It isn't. <laughs> it's terrible. We need your opinion on mom's uh, TBR because it's shit. And mom <laughs> thinks it's really good. Choose which side you take on carefully. Wow, it's a no-brainer. Thank you. Mine. Awesome. Mom's theme. You want to explain it? Mom's theme is what could possibly go wrong. Picking your TBR could come be up, Come up with what you think of this. Like, Read the title and do an explanation of what you think it could mean. It could end poorly. You see how well, nobody he, is following yours? Well, dying is ending poorly, is it not? Yeah. Okay, what is that one? What? I know who you are. You did something wrong to her and you... Uh-huh. Yeah. Your excitement is really bad, too. Give me the child. You see how nobody likes it? It I could would, be a kidnapping. No, I, I was going to say, it's either someone snatched a kid. Yeah. Or 
um, someone sees an abuse to a kid and wants to take him away. Bust it while well, you're arrested. Yeah. Obsession. It could end really That's, badly. That could be not good. I'll never tell. Again, keeping a secret. He's, the person could have done something horribly wrong. Yeah. When the lights go out. Well. <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> I'm not saying it on camera. <laughs> Okay, but thoughts. Are you going? Are you not going for death and destruction? No, he's going for sex. You're going no, for I'm something going bad. Going for sex. You're a ditch pig, when just the, like her. You're an idiot. And it's something bad going to happen. You're an idiot. Right, She's then. pregnant. You are an idiot. <laughs> Everyone's gonna think you're a ditch pig. You just <laughs> high fived him. <laughs> That's my dad. I just went to the doctor and I'm straight up not having a good time. <laughs> This is my reward for getting my vagina touched. <laughs> I wanted a chocolate shake, but the machine is broken. Did you so... say that you're going to the vagina doctor? No, I just said I'm going to the doctor, but now oh, you all know. I went knows. to the vagina doctor. Yay! Everybody get your regular checkups. Oh, Women's my. health. You don't like cheesy stuff? Uh, I don't like the Why are you taping me? She's a BB. Stop. It's, um, oh. Do a mukbang. It's the it's the parmesan he stuck on top that you just kind of look at. Yeah, it's just oh, like is that what you don't like from East Sides? It's the no, parmesan it's, it's when they just crank it on it's there. It's everything at East Sides. Mukbang, go. Oh, you want me to like just munch on this whole thing? Yeah, mukbang. Did you put? Oh, I thought you put the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> My mom is the loudest typer <laughs> in the <laughs> entire <laughs> Come on, type for them. This, <laughs> type this them. I'll do how I type, and then I'll do how you think I type, okay? <laughs> okay, you're being way too quiet. Oh, oops. Okay, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> you're just typing nonsense. No, I'm not. Well, you're actually... I still receive wrong, though. <laughs> Hello. It's now day two of Cramathon, and um, I'm gonna be really real with you guys. I have done absolutely zero reading since yesterday morning, but I do feel like I have like a pretty good reason why I have not. So yesterday, I spent most of the day going out with my mom, going to the doctor, all that jazz. But then when we got home, I was going to read, but then I got a job offer. If you guys watched my last vlog, then you saw that on Friday, I had a job interview and I was like extremely nervous and I didn't think it went very well. But yesterday I got the job offer. So they sent me a manual that I have to read before I go in and that was 92 pages long. So I basically just like ran through that for yesterday. And then this morning they sent me a 66 page document about like COVID and like how they're going to be implementing that because it's working with kids. So it's a lot of like, you know, hands-on shit. Lots and lots of guidelines and things like that. So I've basically just been reading that, but I actually start on Thursday, which means I had to get it done because today is Tuesday. So I figured, you know, we should probably actually like speed through all of those documents so that I'm not showing up on Thursday being like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just waiting for Will to come pick me up now because I'm going to his house to help him with his tie-dye stuff. And I'm going to be reading there, but it's the COVID manual. So like, I guess I could kind of count for like non-fiction if I really want to cheat the system a little bit. Sure, we're reading our non-fiction challenge. But yeah, so that is the plan for today. I will probably not be doing any like Cramathon reading, but I'll have fun clips of Will dying shirts if that's something you guys are into. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible host. Ooh, I did run some sprints this morning on the Cramathon Twitter though, so like I'm a half decent host maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go find my socks and sunglasses so that I can go see Will. Will's problem solving skills? Oh. How you not melt chocolate? Or unmelt it? I'm not that. Solidify it. There you Science go. Science people. You're so smart. I'm dumb. But uh, they're real melted right now. 
Or you just like don't leave chocolate in your car. You know what? I told you to take it last night. You said, no, you're going to eat it on your way home. And guess what? I never did. It's not my fault. And then now they're melted in my car. So I need to make them not melted. <laughs> this is Roscoe. We are best friends forever. You're so good. I'm wearing any clothes. Stop <laughs> it. I'm self-conscious. Wow. Focused. <laughs> All you can see is the bugs flying. Honestly, it's so annoying. Make them stop! That's my ear hole, bug. <laughs> it's gonna be the best shirt. You think so? Because it's a J shirt. It is a J shirt. So it's a good shirt. I get a shirt named after me. Well, I made a one of one, and then everybody's like, I love that shirt so much! You know, now I need to make it for everybody. Because it's the best shirt. It is the best shirt. Uh, I'm trying to work here. I'm just admiring. What is there to admire? Your existence. Shut up. <laughs> you gotta do all the process. No, you don't. <laughs> Stop teaching people how to take over my business. No, go back and wait. Why? Because you're so cute. Ew. Gross, right? We're making nachos. <laughs> I would also like to point out your step stool is still there, so you can put the chips back. Huh? Are you talking to me? Yeah. I can't hear you. My microwave's too loud. I said I would like to point out that your step stool is still there, so you can put your chips back. I don't need them to put them back, I just need them to get them out, thank you. <laughs> Why? Because you're a widow? 